you know, we have hypothetical plans, but there's a lot of logistics that comes with that and making it happen. From Ben, are all the women being verified to be in and out of Ukraine? I see new profiles being added from both in and out of Ukraine. So yeah, we do have uh, new profiles in Ukraine that we submit as well. Uh, many women, you know, they did a photo shoot so before the war started, they, they were ready to post their profiles, but then the war started, they put everything on hold for obvious reasons. Now things get back to normal. So they, you know, started uploading their profiles. Plus it takes time for us to verify the profiles again, because we can keep copies of their uh, passports, verify the you know, date of birth, um, where they live, uh, kids, you know, kids, the kids' age. There's a lot of information to verify. So we do check all that. And uh, yeah, so you can see new Ukrainian profiles coming up. So those women are still around. They still want to meet men. And if, if it's a, you know, if it's a new profile starting with like 208 and it says Ukraine, you know, whatever city in Ukraine, she's in Ukraine, she didn't relocate. But if it's older profile, I mean, for example, 204, 203 or something to that nature, you know, she can't be, she can't be in uh, Europe somewhere now. So we're trying to, you probably seen the tab current location in, uh, in ladies profile, not all of them, but it's there. And one thing we need to work on, we're gonna get to it, uh, but uh, do a better search engine because we do have a lot of uh, people, for example, when you go to search engine and enter across only a couple of profiles coming up, but I know for a fact there is way more than that. It's just our search engine is not quite tuned to this list, so we need to find a better way for you guys to find and locate those women. So it's gonna be done shortly, so hang in there. From Nicholas, how do you see group tours resuming in Eastern Europe ever? Ah, uh, well, again, I would need probably two, three months to figure out what we're doing with that anyway. And you know, we have hypothetical plans, but there's a lot of logistics that comes with that and making it happen. So hopefully I'll have an answer for you on that. The best option would be, of course, for war in Ukraine to be over and as soon as possible. And I really, really hope it's gonna happen. But if that's not happening in the nearest future, yeah, then we need to figure out what we're doing going forward. If you have interest in Europe, I would love that. I reside and can go anytime. Oh, I can't go to Europe anytime too. I would love to do tours it's in very, Europe, trust me. I just uh, prefer tours, not just for the ladies, but to socialize as well. And yeah, that's so why are we doing it? Actually, for well, you guys. Yeah, it's great to you know uh, meet other guys. I mean, other guys. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's the thing. I mean, it's. You know, guys, when they join the group tour, they're thinking about only meeting women, but it's also uh, get you know meet other guys that they're for the same reason, uh, trying to meet someone, and it's a great support network. You know, a lot of guys become friends and stay in touch, and uh, also you know when you know they meet their fiances, it's good for them because their you know support network even expands. You know, they have questions, they can talk to each other, they can help their fiance because you know they're all going through the same thing. So, so that would be good. No more late night calls. It's like you forgot about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did we go wrong? Can we go back to how we used to be? Yeah. You can find that. Thousands of stunning, sincere, single women serious about finding love and the perfect man for them. Interested? Learn more at PoltavaWomen.com If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.